Hello everybody, this is General Snivy, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Last Remnant. Today we're going to be taking on the second half of Lava Fender. In the second half we're going to be exploring like a little bit of the path of anguish, and then we're going to be finishing up this dungeon. And we are actually going to be exploring a brand new town. But first we have a few beetles to take care of, and we got this thing. This enemy is a rare monster, and it is known as Fallen Angel. To tell the truth, this monster actually wasn't too bad to take down, but it is relatively powerful, so... Much like back in the Silver Falcons Part 1 side quest, I had to think quite a bit outside the box. The reason, well... Like I previously stated a few seconds ago, this monster is pretty powerful, but thankfully it isn't too bad because for the most part it's just going to be spamming Meditate, which increases its attack power and intelligence. Not sure where intelligence comes into play, but still, it is relatively dangerous, especially with that with the increased stats and whatnot. Slap 3 basically is a pretty big killer. And it can actually attack multiple unions at once, so be sure not to have your second union too close to the enemy when it's ex executing that attack. And here's the main killer, Poison Gas. Poison Gas is incredibly powerful and dangerous. And to tell the truth, at this point in the game, it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big killer and a knockout. So basically, you may be wondering now, why am I not rushing to revive Rush's squad? <laughs> Get it? Rush? Okay, back to the point hey. The reason why I didn't rush in straight away was because, well, if I did, then I would have been caught in a raid lock and then that would have resulted in an unnecessary death. So I had to think a little bit here, like engage the enemy and fight it a little bit just to deal a little bit of damage and then rush off to heal and bring back Rush's squad and really take the hit. Take the hit with the raid lock as necessary as possible. So basically, the primary strategy for this is have one union heal the other and then have the other union attack the monster. And the number of the freaking beast haunts me yet again. Oh, how fun. Gotta love that freaking number of the beast. Hey. And of course, another death. Another unnecessary death due to poison gas. Poison gas is not fun. It really isn't, because it poisons you and your unions and it just ruins your day. So, what should I talk about then? Well, you may be wondering, now that I've moved up here to Maine, what internet service provider did I go with? And you may also be wondering, why didn't I just get Verizon Fios back up here? Well, the reason is because the town I'm living in, they don't have Verizon Fios, or even Xfinity, or any big name cable companies up here. To tell the truth, there's only one cable company, and it pretty much has a monopoly throughout the entire town of where I'm living in. And that cable company is known as Time Warner. Basically, I have pretty much the second fastest uh, internet of which they can provide for me. And that's like 30 meg up, 30 meg download, 5 meg upload, something like that. And we have like the digital cable. That's our cable. And I don't know how I survived that freaking poison attack. Maybe enough of my units within my union actually dodged the attack to make it so it's not so freaking lethal. 
But hey, better than nothing, I always say. It's better to stay alive than having to rush in and uh, revive, heal again and again. So if you come to this point within the game and this is your first time exploring the place and you encounter the fallen angel, well, prepare to have your morale bar pretty much sitting at the bottom of the screen where the enemy morale is higher than yours throughout pretty much the entire battle. But don't get discouraged because of the low morale. Seriously. Morale may actually provide some bonuses for like you and also the enemies depending on where the morale bar is, but it doesn't dictate whether you win or lose. It's all about the actions of which you take. That's really all I have to say about morale. And I pretty much went through every single topic that I had on my freaking notepad. I still got the rest of this video to record and the next one. Now you may also be wondering, what was that? What was that about? That weird stutter and uh, glitchy thing. Well, that was when the video decided to glitch. And I mean glitch hard. Again, this was most likely due to my antivirus performing a background task while my computer was idle. But for the most part, I did get the video resung. No problem. Everything is a-okay. At least I think so. So, let's see. What else should I talk about? I know this battle has been going on for a pretty good long while. And... Wow, 12 turns already. And it's still gonna go on for at least maybe 3 or 4 more turns. Maybe. Maybe 1 or 2. I don't remember off the top of my head. I mean, it hasn't even been that long since I last recorded. But, hey, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Show a battle of epic proportions and just hammer the enemy to the freaking ground. Why won't this angel die? Well, let's just be thankful that it's not a one-winged angel that carries a really long-ass sword. That was my mother. She needs my help. Watch and, and I shall be doing so in a minute here. Heck, maybe I can come up with a new topic while I'm helping her. Let's finish out this battle first. Time to release the ultimate power. And then this once and for all. Turn 14, here we go. Yay, poison gas didn't kill because of the evasive bonuses of which we received from the freaking attack. And that's the end! The end of the fallen angel! Thank freaking god. Ugh, what a pain in the freaking butt. I'm not kidding. But, anyways, we captured the fallen angel, and I'm going to be taking a break. So, see you guys in a second. Okay, I am back. I'm sorry that I took... I mean, sorry I went away. Anyways, what my mother wanted me to do... Well, she wanted me to help her hang up a couple of pictures, like downstairs within the living room. And really hang up a shelf, too. Because the wall, type of walls we're working with throughout the house is basically drywall. And there's nothing really behind the drywall, so basically the... We have to use anchors in order to hold up the objects that we need to hang. If you can catch my drift. So basically, I helped my mother take care of that. And everything's all fine and dandy now. So I've returned and now I have a couple more topics that I just thought of off the top of my head. And the next thing I'm going to be talking about... Well, actually, this is going to be the first of the new 
set of topics is I know like about a month ago or maybe two the Legend of Korra premiered with brand new episodes of season two which is book two spirits let me tell you something I am loving that season I freaking love the Legend of Korra I, I'm dead serious. I really love that show. Season 2 looks like it has some really serious promise and it's just looking fantastic. And it's just looking better and better with each passing episode, at least in my opinion. I'm definitely liking where the show is going as far as the plot is concerned. And I'm definitely looking forward to future episodes. I wonder how long this season will last. My guess is around maybe 10 or maybe 12 chapters, kind of like how it was back in Season 1 when it only lasted for about 10 or 11 chapters. I can't remember off the top of my head. But, nonetheless, still looking forward to the show and it's looking fantastic. There are two episodes that I have missed so far, but uh, I can look them up online. Pretty easy to find. So, next thing I'm going to be talking about is, well, for quite a long time, I have been using a wireless connection to connect to the internet, and, well, here's a funny story that goes with this. When we got our internet and our cable set up, I tried connecting all of our dev my mother's computer and also my game consoles to the internet source of which the cable company has provided us. However, my desktop just, it just would not connect wirelessly. I mean, I called technical support and uh, they tried to help me. And I even called the computer technician down at Bay Area Computers to see if he could do something about it or walk me through step by step. Uh, what I could possibly do to fix the connection. And I've tried everything under the sun, that's what it seems like. I even went into the command prompt and uh, changed a couple of things around with the IP and like re-registered the IP, made sure everything is all spick and spam. You know what I mean, everything is all neat and tidy. Well, again, as we tried pretty much fixing everything and to no avail so the option I had pretty much off the top of my head was to connect a, a long ethernet cable from my own router which is sitting on top of my desk on my computer which was the Netgear router and whatnot that I've had before but uh, yeah I connected the long ethernet cord from that to the modem of which the people from provided for us. And the connection was successful. So basically now I'm using a wired connection. And to tell the truth, I should have done this a long time ago anyway. Because I hear a wired connection is actually much more reliable than a wireless connection. And it's better for you anyway. So I'm glad I've, I'm finally able to use a wired connection as opposed to as opposed to a wireless one. But that's just me, and it's kind of getting technical, but still, the lag won't be as bad when it comes to online gaming, and the internet connection is going to be much more stable. <clears throat> now for the next thing we have on our hands, we have a side quest that we have to take on. And we're not going to be starting that necessarily in this video, but, we are going to explore this castle, which I can't remember the name of. Is it Royal Da? Anyways, we gotta talk to this guy. What the heck was that? Hmm, seems I must request a task from me. Hmm, a flame guardian summons me. I wonder why. I mean, I'm not a member of the royal family or anything. I'm not Link, the hero of time, but... <sighs> who knows? Who cares? We got a side quest to do. So we're going to go ahead and get started next time. This is Daryl Snivy with Let's Play The Last Remnant. 
thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, and next time we shall be taking on Into the Abyss.